the overture tells you everything you need to know about what will follow in the marriage of Figaro at Opera Theater of St. Louis, thanks not only to Mozart's brilliant music, but also to Opera Theater's marvelous production. The opening notes scamper along at a bracing but not a breakneck speed. Conductor harpsichordist Christopher Allen judges the pacing beautifully here and throughout, always drawing gorgeous playing from the St. Louis Symphony. Stage director Mark Lamos brings the characters on stage during the overture. Editions of this sort are sometimes intrusive, but Lamos's are clever and effective. The audience gets to know the characters and their relationships as they act out events that take place prior to the opening curtain. The invention suggests that Lamos' top priorities are making the action clear and bringing out the comedy. The splendid direction serves the audience throughout, aficionados and novices alike. The same is true for Sean Coran's choreography. The action during the overture also introduces the costumes by Constance Hoffman and the set by Paul Steinberg. The costumes are a delightful mix of traditional and fanciful elements. The same can be said of Tom Watson's wigs and makeup. The style of the painted scenery enhances the buoyancy of the production and the easily reconfigured set pieces allow for speedy scene changes after acts one and three. The props crew under Nicole Angeli did yeoman service in filling the cabinets with clutter in Act One. The only important thing the overture does not alert you to in this production is the quality of the singing. Happily, it ascends to the same peak level as the rest, both musically and dramatically. The performers are Aubrey Alacock as Figaro, Monica Dewey as Susanna, Thea Hoffman as the Count, Susanna Biller as Rosina, Samantha Gossard as Carabino, Nathan Stark as Bartolo, Marianne McCormick as Marcellina, John McVeigh as Basilio, Elena Villalon as Barbarina, Calvert Young as Curzio, Philip Lopez as Antonio, and the chorus under Carrie John Franklin. The laughter at the right spots and other appropriate audience responses speak well for the work of English diction specialist Ben Malinsek and fight director and intimacy coach Michael Rossmi. I'm glad that I already have my tickets for this Saturday matinee. Oh, so you're going to have to sit through this again, are you? I am going to have to enjoy it again. <laughs> well, I enjoyed it very much, too, and I always enjoy listening to Mozart's music, which I think we should do now.